Watch this TikTok vegan go out of her way to antagonize random strangers in the street. Imagine yourself in this position. Imagine yourself in their position. What would you want someone to do? While also posting inappropriate stuff over on Facebook, Instagram, and even YouTube. Why is every single one of her videos? I've been slammed for posting my fans photos onto Facebook age restricted with some of them even being taken down she's had her TikTok taken down countless times also been sued countless times and has even been banned from her own country hello ablaze viewers I have come all the way down from heaven to personally block that vegan booty from TikTok and from the Australian West Coast pubs the Australian police have banned me from entering into my own city not into random fights on the street, sells her body online and then claims she's doing it for the animals. How has this vegan not learned from any of her past mistakes? Today, we're gonna to be looking at where vegan booty has been over this past year with quite a funny video as well, where she tried to get a farmer on a podcast to expose him, but the only exposing that happened was her IQ. Thrive and survive on a plant-based diet. So yeah, he's not a carnivore on, because otherwise he'd only be able you... to thrive Excuse me, excuse me, dear. you said omnivore, which means that we eat both meat and plant-based products. We have a choice. But I suppose that wasn't too much of a shock after being showed up by a school kid as she protests in front of a McDonald's that we watched previously. What kind of? He's a Jack Russell. Oh, how much did you pay for that? I don't know, he's been in my family for 10 years. But we'll get into all of this straight after the funnest part of today's video. The comment shout out. And that goes to Kim Johnson. Thank you for your comment. If you guys want to shout out in the next video, please leave a comment down below saying ablaze. Merry Christmas. I hit the subscribe button and I'll pick one of you for a shout out in the next video. So this is a TikToker that I've honestly mentioned quite a few times in the past on my channel. We've actually talked about a lot of the things that she's done. Going as far back as even talking about the vegan teacher. She claimed at one point that she was the vegan teacher's daughter, mainly as a joke, to where they finally got on a live stream together. And well, I mean, that went as well as you probably can imagine. Oh yeah, we're going topless. Mm -hmm. mm, take off my shirt. Swing it around. <laughs> <laughs> If I know Tash Peterson, and I don't, for some reason, a bra is coming off. Haven't made that connection yet with veganism, but I one day hope that I will. She was mainly best known from all her protests that she did back in the day on TikTok before getting terminated. Six months old when they were forced into her carbon dioxide gas chamber when they suffocated to death. I'm not really that surprised though. Some of them were rather graphic, holding a pig's head while covered in blood. She claimed it was to betray the message of what it's really like at these slaughterhouses. But honestly, doing this in front of the children never really set well with me, considering especially when she would create videos in basically just body paint, which is exactly what she did in one video and then started protesting a McDonald's after school hours. I feel sad. I see a baby. I see some Someone eating so, a baby. So like you, Chickens are only so six the, weeks old. So, so this makes you sad? Yes, because that is a six week old baby. So like, if I do this? <laughs> yeah. That's just kind of messed up. Like, seriously messed up. If a man was to do that, I'm sure he would probably be in prison around about now. At least that video had a silver lining though, because it seems like the kid outwitted the TikTok vegan. Who would have funked it? With actually hitting her with some pretty good points. That's when we found out that she even has a pet dog. And he made quite a good point on that as well. It's just kind of funny to watch. He's a Jack Russell. Uh, how much did you pay for that? Vegan booty here though, left no public place safe as anywhere seemed like a good place to protest. You name a place, she's probably protest there. And yes, it really did get so bad that she actually did get banned from her own country. As she stated in this video, there was practically a warrant for her arrest, which is wild. If I choose to fly home, I could face a one year imprisonment. Again, you must have seriously messed up in life to be banned from your birthplace. Now, if all of this isn't summing up vegan booty very well, I'm sure this next part will, as there was a restaurant in which she went to protest nonstop. Uh, yeah, I, I think this is pro. <laughs> to the sounds of peace. 
screaming, screaming for She did it countless times, recording it and posting it to her YouTube. She made it to look like the owner of the restaurant was unstable, hot-headed, and ill-tempered. Well, again, that couldn't be further from the case, as a news organization actually took the time to interview him. Now from Perth, this escalated hugely on the weekend. What was the lead-up, John? Oh, Layla, it just went from bad to worse. And honestly, in the interview, you can really just see the defeat in his face as his business is kind of going under because of vegan booty. People who go out to try and have a nice meal get it utterly ruined by this TikToker, once again wearing body paint and screaming at the guests. They've done this countless times in restaurants, but this time it definitely felt a bit more personal. It got so bad, in fact, that the restaurant owner actually took the necessary steps to actually sue vegan booty. It ends now. It does end now because she's going to get the charges pressed in the next 24 to 48 hours. She responded to that as well, saying that she doesn't care. This notice is designed for disorderly, drunken and violent people, not animal rights activists. And again, being banned from your country, being hated by your locals, with no one liking you, looking silly in every video, you would think around about now she would have given up. If I have to say at least one nice thing about her, I will say this, at least she hasn't given up. Not because I don't want her to, it's great content, believe me. So I guess it kind of has worked out well. I don't think she's really turning any heads with her content. Put it this way, would you stop eating meat because you saw someone in body paint scream at you? I can't say that's really changing my mind anytime soon. And judging by the comments I see online has really done quite the contrary. As some of the comments I've gotten from you guys in the past on YouTube videos are hilarious. Stating that you're now going to have two burgers tonight to counteract the balance. <laughs> nice. But honestly, somehow, despite as bad as her videos have been in the past, it seems like it's just got a hell of a lot worse as she just tries to bait people into watching her content right now while using her body. It's actually quite hard to show some of the videos and honestly, it's actually even hard to show some of the thumbnails. And with titles like this, Triggered Teen Owns Vegan In Heated Argument, Topless Vegans give out their breast milk. Nice. Angry dog lover fights vegan, calling her animal abuser. And honestly, my favorite video, of course, taking my pants off in Norway. Oh, really inspirational stuff, guys. If this video hits 10,000 likes, it. I'll do the same. There's just no consistency here whatsoever. It seems like every other video is her either taking her clothes off or screaming at people. This isn't a YouTube channel of a rather sane person. But I'm curious, what has she actually been up to apart from taking her pants off in Norway over this last year? Well, she made this video only two months ago saying vegan activist opens up about attack as she really just tries to play victim in this as she's destroying some guy's business that has a family. By the way, that was quite a sad story as well as the restaurant owner actually ended up divorcing his wife because of the stress and yeah he actually did start tearing up at the end of the interview you're under a lot of pressure you're in the limelight you're under attack in some ways how are you doing thanks personally it's not easy uh yeah i lost i lost um my partner because of this, um, I lost, you know, a relationship that I thought I was going to marry this woman and she just couldn't handle the amount of attention. She's a very private person and uh, yeah, thanks vegans. But Tash Peterson, I guess, sees this slightly different and actually claims to be the victim in all of this. Quite a chaotic experience. Were you injured at all? Yes, I was. Um, my skin like kind of just split and I just have like a bit of a bloodied cut on my hand. Um, I guess just from the force of me trying to hold onto the speaker and him literally just throwing me from side to side as he was trying to grab it out of my hands. And then also quite recently she did it taking my pants off in no- oh sorry, wrong video. Woman slams vegan for running kids pony party. As she claims that apparently having a pony party is animal slavery. It's entertainment. They're being encouraged. Oh, They're they they're 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 so I'm not even so going to support animal slavery. So You're okay with animal slavery. 
which is kind of fitting because she had a dog. Anything that Tash seems to say can easily be counteracted and is just so unnecessarily silly. I'm actually quite surprised by a lot of the stuff that she seems to keep in in the videos. For example, take this video that went extremely viral of this farmer explaining to Tasha that making vegan style clothes and vegan leather belts is not environmentally friendly as he breaks it down to her in simple terms for her to actually understand that. Again, she left this up on her channel and I'm kind of baffled why. You're wearing a belt. Is that belt from leather or is that an artificial? Yeah, it's vegan leather. Yeah. Okay. But it's leather. Yeah. It's not someone's skin. So it's an actually an artificial product. Yeah, it's vegan. Yes. No, it's an artificial product. Yes. That's the question I'm asking. Yeah, no one was shot in the head for my belt. Yeah, but it is leather. Yes. Vegan so it came leather. from an animal? No, it's vegan leather. So it's a synthetic material and no okay. one was shot in the head. So and that it's bit not of synthetic material you've got, that produced as much CO2 as driving my car from here to Darwin. That's correct. I see the scientific resource for Well, you've only got to go to, go to WHO, the United fact, Nations WHO website. <clears throat> that will actually show you that for every 500 grams of synthetic material created, it uses as much, it produces as much CO2 as driving 2,000 kilometres. Animal agriculture is responsible for more greenhouse gases than the world's entire yeah, I agree. transport Factory system. Factory house farming. We're not here farming. to argue about environment. Fact we're farming. here to argue about the Factory rights of other farming. species. So we're Factory going a little bit off topic. Farming. Which, as soon as Tash seems to lose the argument, she just states that we're going off topic a little bit here to basically change the topic, which I find to be a little bit of a cop-out. Now, honestly, it was a very interesting video that she did upload, but I feel like she drastically underestimated the farmer because he brought up countless of really good points in this video. It was about 40 minutes long, and honestly, see a really interesting watch. One of the things that I couldn't help but notice though is her and her boyfriend seem to make fun of the farmer who had previously gone to war as he actually got drafted. Saying this in the video, which I felt was in very poor taste. I was a soldier. I'm an ex-soldier. This is your farmer. I'm an ex-soldier. I'm not, I'm not everyday farmer. I'm just an, happen to be an ex-soldier. So I have killed people but I have killed people at the instigation of the government. Not my choice. Yeah, but you murder animals. About how I treat my animals. They've never visited me, so they have no idea. Yeah, I don't think we'll be visiting you. You said you kill humans, so we'll leave that one. I but... have killed humans. I didn't say I do it now. I said I've done it in the past. All right? I didn't have a choice. I was sent to fight in a war that I had no choice with. Once again, it was a war we inherited from the Americans. To which they actually got called out as generally the top comment on this YouTube video was this. The fact they tried to insult him because he killed in a war made me lose all respect for them. You have made your choice. Don't put your choice on me. I want to be able to choose for myself. And despite winding people up in the past, to absolute boiling points. It seems like she hasn't learned her lesson whatsoever as she's still doing this. Checking out on her channel, this was her most recent video where she actually stopped a couple who were trying to walk their dog and was just lecturing them on a beach, ruining their day as she just insults them. It seems like she just goes around trying to cause problems and she thinks that this is generally a great way to get publicity. Well, if you're okay with eating animals then you wouldn't be so upset and angry, right? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta. I'm not saying that you're abusing them. You're abusing cows, pigs and chickens to go into slaughterhouses. Dairy cows are raped and their babies are taken away from them. Yeah, I need to feed my dogs properly. What, you're going to harass me? No, I'm talking about you. You eat animals. You abuse me and get in my face because I feed my dogs what they're supposed to eat, you weirdo. You pay for animals to be forced into slaughterhouses for yes, you and your dog. Animals are supposed to eat, love. Okay, would you force dogs into slaughterhouses to eat them? Would you do that? No, but other countries. No, so you so you wouldn't force a dog into a slaughterhouse, no, but, but you're okay with my cows. Dog with what it's supposed to eat, you dumb. It? You think your dog's an it? You think he's an it? Do you know what breed it is? No, you don't. Do you know what gender it is? Why are you calling no, you him an it? Because you don't know if it's a or a male. You, you do. You said yeah, he's I an do. it. It's a she, actually. That's why she. I called her an it because you don't know. 
Because you don't know. So that's what you think she is and is. How are you serious? Are you? That mixed with a lot of the things that she also says in interviews as well, as I can't play the exact word she says on the channel, otherwise I just feel like this is going to get demonetized, but it's a word used in World War II beginning with the letter H, as she refers to what is happening to the animals. Every time she uses this word, no one agrees with her. Everyone is quite literally appalled that she uses this as her choice of words to describe something, as it's seen here on this interview that she had. For human food consumption, so it is in fact the largest cost in history. Okay, I, I completely disagree with your use of that term, but let's move on. You, you've got every right to believe passionately in causes and to protest, but to protest peacefully, why are you not doing that? And I suppose in some ways she's even made it big. She even managed to snatch a interview with Piers Morgan, even if that didn't go quite according to plan for her. I think people have got fed up with it. I think one of the reasons is they're fed up with being shouted at. You, you're one of these people that runs into restaurants and plays, you know, sounds from screaming animals and abattoirs and so on. I know you care passionately about it. I think it's very off-putting. It's a bit like the Just Stop Oil protesters doing a lot of their stuff. It just annoys people. It has the opposite effect to what you hope. No, I don't think so at all. I <laughs> Delusional. I generally don't understand where screaming at people and telling people that they're wrong straight into their face would ever convince someone to change their opinions. Even if you're the one who's not being screamed at, I just feel like even then, it leaves a very poor taste in your mouth. Watching these videos, I just can't help but feel sorry for the people on the other end. No, dogs can thrive on a plant-based diet. You don't need to murder other animals to feed your dog. As I feel like she has some good points to talk about and how the farming industry can be quite disgusting sometimes, but she just seems to go to one extreme to where people aren't even going to want to give her the time of day. But she sees this as an absolute win because she says it would never give me these types of opportunities to talk to you on tv but again that's just such a cop out just because you're on tv right now definitely doesn't mean people are taking you seriously again a quick look at the comments confirms this it's got so bad in fact that i feel like tash even tried to debate kids general children and still managed to lose but does that just because that's their purpose that we've put upon them that we forced upon them does that justify murder we're not, we're not forced upon dogs with pets as well. Do you have a dog? Do you have a pet dog? Yes, I have a companion what, what, dog. What kind of dog? He's a Jack Russell. Uh, how much did you pay for that? I don't know. He's been in my family for 10 years, but I don't agree with breeding animals into existence. So why did you? So I wouldn't, I, but I wasn't vegan at that point in time. As a vegan, I would never pay for someone by a breeder or anything. I would rescue animals at shelters because lots of animals are murdered in shelters but I would never pay for an animal because I believe they're not. And last but not least, it seems about a month ago, Tash and her boyfriend went to Canada, went to Montreal to meet up with her mum. No, not her actual mum, vegan teacher. But they're, they're, I don't know. Let us know, Google it, let us know. We're sure they're vegan though. They don't look like an animal. No, Let's no, go they're vegan. Open. Honestly, just another delusional vegan TikToker. Be vegan declaration day to you. Day to you. That's for all of you new vegans out there. And it is for a blaze. I feel like a lot of these vegans have really just fallen off now and not many people are really talking about them. I just feel like over this past year, Tasha has had such extreme things going on that is kind of at least somewhat interesting to talk about. And it's quite fitting on this channel to just look at TikTokers that are completely crazy. And let's be honest, Tash here fits in that category very well. That all being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Sorry that we never got to watch Taking My Pants Off in Norway, but I hope this video was just as good. If you think so, make sure to hit a like, leave a comment down below what you think about this whole thing. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye.